Howdy y'all, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today guys, we are playing some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, we are back on our Lone Ranger series, and as you can see, we are here with our two new bison. I am super, super excited for these guys. Uh, I did go ahead and bring them back to our mountain base because I think what we wanna do here is set up a little bit of a corral. Um, it makes sense that we have a little mountain cabin, we have a dog house, we should definitely have a corral to keep uh, some of our tames in as we are um, kind of moving around the map from here on out and uh, sort of moving away from this mini base that we've set up. So I do want to have a nice secure um, corral for these guys to be in. So that's what we're going to do today is we're going to be building that. Before we do that, I do want to go ahead and name these guys. Now we did get a lot of really great name suggestions. Um, the ones that I'm going to go with here this male bison is actually going to be named uh, Big John. I love that, Big John. And then this one is gonna be Big Bertha because uh, I think that's just perfect. I actually love this particular bison. I think she looks amazing. All right. I think they just fit. They kind of fit the theme. If I could spell, that would be super helpful. There we go. Um, all right, so we have Big Bertha and Big John, and then we also have our little otter friend here um, who also needs a name, and of all of the name suggestions I found, I actually really liked Wes. I think Wes is a fantastic name for an otter. Uh, cute, simple, and definitely um, fitting with, uh, with our whole lifestyle here on this particular series. I love it very much. All right, guys. So, uh, let's go ahead and start trying to build the corral. Now, I'm a little concerned about trying to make this round. I feel like it's gonna be very, very tricky. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna work out. Uh, I'm gonna do my best though. So I do kinda wanna line it up here. I wanna leave enough room to get by. Um, hopefully this is gonna be big enough. So my goal is to kinda make it, since I can't make it exactly octagonal, I'm hoping that if I make it, like, too wide each side, that this will eventually work. Now, I may have to move these guys around a little bit because they are a little in the way. It can a little hard to see where my snap point is. Can I, can I do this? I, I know I can snap it here, hold on. This is very flat ground, so it should work just fine. Oh yeah, it'll be great. It's a, it's definitely a small pen, but I like it a lot. Um, I think this is going to be a great place to keep these guys, or the horses, if we decide to do something with them. Um, in terms of breeding, I think this would be a great place to breed horses. So I'm really excited about building this. It's, uh, it's a little funky. I wish I could make it perfectly round, but um, you know, no round pen is ever perfectly round, and that is totally fine by me. I'm not sure this is going to match up perfectly. I'm one short. All right, so 16 fence foundations. Let's go ahead and grab that. All right. I did make up a ton of extra structures while we were offline, uh, which is great because that means we're going to have a lot more chances to get stuff done. I should only need one of these. Um, let's go ahead and also take my gate stuff and then some of my actual wooden railings. They will weigh me down, but... Um, yeah, I'm gonna use wooden railings because I think it makes it look more like a fence than if I were to use something uh, like walls. I don't love the idea of using straight walls on these guys. So we're gonna try it this way. Look at that, beautiful. All right, that is perfectly octagonal. That's exactly what I wanted. So this should be too wide and it should snap perfectly to this. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, there we go. And then we just now need all of our um, fence stuff. So this is gonna be the trick, is that it's gonna have to be built up a little at a time. Um, and I do think I wanna make this a really tall fence. I don't want anything to be able to jump out of here, so I think we're gonna make it like four high. It's quite a few structures, but I think it's gonna look pretty cool once I'm done, I hope. I really hope. All right, let's go get a few more. That's definitely not enough. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited for this corral. Um, I This is one of the things I've been thinking about for a while is how to build this. Um, it's a very simple build, but I do think it's gonna be one of the better, like, not only one of the better looking structures that I build on here, 
but also one of the most useful structures that I build on here, because um, I can make saloons and stuff all day long. But when it comes down to it, this is a solo game, so I do definitely want to be having uh, really good pens to keep these creatures in that are going to keep them kind of protected. Um, it's not going to stop stuff from aggroing on creatures, but that's okay. I don't care about that so much since these are bison. They can kind of take care of themselves. It's more to just keep them from wandering around while we, uh, like, breed them or just for aesthetics. I think it looks pretty good. All right, can we... I love it so much. This is going to be so good. I wish I could make an old school style fence, um, like an old gate that actually swings in or out, but uh, this is going to be okay. It still works. Um, all right, let's go ahead and grab all these. This might not be enough railings, actually. I really hope it is. Uh, if not, we may have to go make a few more. I made a ton thinking it would be too many, but maybe it's not going to be. Eh, maybe we'll be okay. Maybe we'll be okay. Let's just keep building and see where we end up. All right. I think four high is a pretty good amount. I like four high pretty well. I can handle it. Oh my gosh, is this gonna be just perfect? Oh yes, okay, we literally have one left, but I think that's actually kind of perfect. Um, yeah, I do wish the gate was like half height, but at the same time, like you wouldn't be able to get anything in or out of it if it wasn't um, that particular height. So I'm going to live with it and call it good. I love it, guys. I love this little corral. I think it's perfect. I do think that if I were to put these guys on wandering, they would have a hard time getting far enough away from each other to actually do any um, like breeding. So I think that's kind of a, a good thing here. I love it very much. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put these guys on wander. We'll let them wander in their little round corral. It'll be great. It's a good area to train the horses as well. We can, like, take the horses for a ride in the new area. Can we... There it is. All right. Beautiful. Okay, there we go. Uh, the bison are wandering. They've got their little pen. They're going to do their thing. They may or may not have a baby. We'll kind of see how it goes. Um, I think that's really actually super amazing uh, and a very, very simple build. So I'm super pleased with it. All right, guys. Um, yeah, that is great. Cool. So um, yeah, then the next thing that I really want to do today after doing all that is one, I want to let the bison kind of do their thing and see how that goes. But I also want to do a quick scouting trip to see if we can find more horses. We might die. <laughs> We might die. I'm always nervous about dying here, but uh, we do have um, pumpkins implant back up in the house, so we should be okay while those guys do their thing. I'm super excited for all of this, actually. I think everything is kind of coming together. It's starting to look like a proper, um, a proper Western house sort of thing, a little farm complex. Um, so yeah, I do actually need suggestions, guys, while we're running around out here. Where do you think we should build um, the next big base? I'm kind of after, oh, hello. Um, <laughs> it's not too bad. I'm kind of after um, a place that's got like enough large flat land that we could really do some good building. Um, there's a few things I kind of want to build. I definitely want to build a saloon. I actually really want to build um, a barn as well so I need like a large flat expanse to do some of this building on so if you guys do have ideas please do let me know I'm really really interested in hearing those ideas um, and seeing what we can do in terms of all of that all right I'm not seeing any uh, I'm seeing a lot of coyotes around here which is not good news for me because I don't want to get pounced off of pumpkin that would end badly for everyone um, and I'm not seeing any new horses in this area, which does make me a little sad. I would have liked to see some new horses. I do still need a male really badly because we have two females, uh, two mares, and I do need a stallion uh, to do a little bit of breeding here with these guys and get the best of the best going. Um, especially since Pumpkin is still very weak, as is Hi-Ho Silver, in terms of uh, actual levels. All right, let's go check this area down by the lava cave um, before we end off here. And then we'll go and see if uh, the bison are doing their thing, leaving us a baby or two. It's going to hurt a little. 
But not too bad. Alright, we're good. Yep, yep, dangerous area. I get it, I get it, I like it, I see it. I don't like the- I don't like it, but I like it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like I'm always, like, running around like a chicken with my head cut off in this particular series, because I'm so afraid of being pounced on this, like, really low-level equus that it's genuinely terrifying. This horse would, uh, die very quickly in any situation, and has on more than one occasion now, so I'm always trying to just be extra careful and not die. But it's, uh, it's a challenge. There's so many bad things around here on this island that, um, it's pretty easy to, uh, get knocked down. Alright, let's take a quick look over this way. Um, typically the horses spawn on either side of this island, of this little peninsula here, so we'll just take a quick look. Uh, we should be close enough to see it either way. Alright, I'm not seeing anything over here at the moment. I do see a pig over there, which is fine. We're gonna need that because we're gonna need to start a farm at some point. Alright, and there's nothing down here, and we're getting pretty close to where our pack mule is, um, so I don't think we're gonna- I don't think we're gonna find an extra horse today. Which is definitely a sad thing. I would love to see an extra horse or two. What are- oh. We've got some, uh, we've got some big chickens over there. Really big chickens. Alright, and pigs? No, we're good. Nothing here worth having, in my opinion. Alright, so I do have to watch out for those chickens, because they're mean, but hopefully they're distracted by the other stuff in the area. Because that would be bad news for me. They attack a little too quickly. Ah, oh, we got a crocodile. Run away. Nope, just, uh-uh. Pumpkin and crocodiles don't mix. Uh, those should not be here. Alright, let's go. Hup. Jump. Okay. <laughs> Alright, okay, so let's go ahead and head back and see how the, uh, bison are getting on. I'm super thrilled about that little round pen. I think it's pretty great. Now, I do need to do more scouting trips here. And I need to run more caves because, uh, I do need more soothing bombs if I'm gonna tame horses because they are definitely a tame that I think you really should just make sure that's gonna, that turkey's gonna aggro on me, isn't he? Please don't. Nope, please don't. I can maybe outrun it if I just keep going. <laughs> maybe, I hope. Um, yeah, so I don't like the big turkeys. They're terrifying. Or the coyotes. They're also terrifying. Everything's out to get me and my horse. Like, me and my pony are just wandering through the world, and everything is out to get us, which is terrible. But it's alright. We can escape, because we're fast. And we need to be faster. I am going to breed these guys for speed, guys. It is going to be something that we do on this series. Um, as soon as I find a male. Which is a whole thing. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. I'm actually surprised that we are still alive. I think we shook it, whatever it was that was after us, which is great news. Alright, let's go check on the bison real quick. Um, now, I do know a couple of other areas where we might find some horses. I will keep doing some scouting for those um, more off cam probably and start looking for those because we do definitely need a male. Um, and I'm also going to be running caves for those soothing bombs so that we can tame them when we do find them. It's going to be it's going to be great, guys. So pretty soon we're going to have a horse taming expedition and we're going to see how well we do. I might take a bison out for that just because they're a little bit tougher. Um, we'll we'll see how that goes. Hopefully hopefully we do okay, but. Um, I think it might be a better idea to go out with a bison just so that we're less likely to lose materials along the way. Alright, uh, it looks like the bison have done their thing. They definitely like this little pen. I think it's great for them. They like wandering around in it. I think it's super cute. Man, they shake the ground a lot. Look at that. It's beautiful. Alright, we're gonna have some baby bison. Um, All right, there we go. Uh, cool. So they they did their thing. We're gonna have a baby bison. Uh, let's go ahead and raise it up in the next one. I think. Um, yeah, we'll have a little family going in here. I think it'll be good. I like it very much. I like these guys in their little round pen. I think it's amazing. I think it's super cool. Uh, I am gonna need like a couple of these different little holding pens uh, coming off of a barn. I think for. For the horses and stuff, because we're going to do a lot for the horses with all of this. 
But yeah, guys, um, I do think that that is uh, probably going to do it for today's episode because that actually went really super well. Um, man, we got the corral built. We've got our bison doing their thing. We're starting to get a little bit of a herd going. Um, and yeah, we are exploring successfully on Pumpkin Without Dying, which is a whole thing. Uh, still looking for that male horse, but we're going to find one eventually and it's going to be our friend, guys. So, if you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, please do remember to hit that like button, guys, because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.